Okay, hi guys, my name is Tina and today I'll be showing you a summer makeup tutorial. I know it's very simple, I know it looks like I did nothing basically, but the products I use are very summer friendly, heat friendly, sun friendly, alam mo yun, like it's perfect for the season because we will be sweating, we will be out in the sun. Ito yung mga makeup techniques that I would do if I'm gonna go out and party for summer. And also, good news, all of it is local brands. All of it lah. I think all of it. Did I miss anything? I don't know. But I'm pretty sure all of it is local brands. So that's good because support local and also mas madale yung ma bile. And I decided to use local brands because I want it to be easier for you guys to get it. Also mas madali yung mahanap because it's everywhere and also mas affordable. So, alam ko naman na pakit lang tayo this summer, and I know the clip, it's not very me, but I'm just gonna wear it because it's what people do now. But actually, if I would choose it, I would be like messy hair, don't care type of girl like this. You like this better because I do. Anyways, so if you guys want to know the products that I use for this look, then please stay and watch the tutorial. Also, by the way, I'm having like um, caffeine parang effects. That's why I'm a little bit shaky. So in the tutorial, you will see that I'm like shaking a bit. Yun lang. So first off, we're gonna start with our skincare because that's basic. Pakit ka lang rin. I'm going with my Maxibil Zero toner all over my face and neck. This is great, lalo na for oily skin or for people who are in the public all the time because of the you know pollution and everything. It will get all of it. Medyo strong siya, so it will feel a bit dry on your skin at first. But it's okay. For moisturizer naman, I'm using Celetech Facial Moisturizer. It's good because it has SPF. And at the same time, it will be good for your dry skin. Or if you have oily skin, it's fine because... It'll serve as sunblock as well. I know this isn't a local brand, but you can find it in Watson. So brandali lang hanapen. Next, we're using the Biore UV spray, and what this does is um sweat repellent cha. So I'm trying it for the first time. I'll be honest with you, and I don't know what to say about it. But it feels a bit sticky. So we shall see along the day how it lasts and I'll try to review it in another post. This is something I always do. I use the color it color tint in Madi under my foundation because when I sweat it out, you will still see that pink tint underneath your skin and you will still look pretty healthy and blushed. Kahit matakpan siya ng foundation, it's totally fine. And even if you do it thickly now, it's also totally fine kasi yung after effect yung habol natin. For foundation naman, SPF tayo ulit. I'm using the Bello Tinted Sunscreen and it has very little and minimal coverage. So it's not gonna be for people who would want to cover a lot. But it's very natural kasi and it's great for summer and it's also very, very affordable. So double up tayo sa SPF because the summer heat in the Philippines is strong but if you are like me who wants a little bit of coverage add some concealer this is creaseless concealer by Tarte and I'm just applying it on areas where I want things covered like my under eye and a little bit of coverage on the center of my face because uh, I guess just preference <laughs> and I'm just using my Miss Bella sponge because it's just the best I think I've yet to try other sponges but for now ito talaga yung nakasnayan ko and I just love how it works it doesn't suck up too much products and it blends it out very very nicely and, and this concealer naman kasi it's so nice it's quite oil based so it will be sweat proof for people and that's me I'm the people. Just look how it brightens the center of my face already and it gives you that coverage that you want but also not looking too fake. That makes sense. For cream contour, we're more liquid. I'm using Jordan from Colorette and I'm applying it very subtly lang kasi it does blend out pretty far out. So just blend it and just work with a little bit and blend it and blend it. So the technique natin today is more of um, cream and liquids and then we're just gonna set it all later. That's just how I do it when it comes to summer because um, liquid base is always kind of just better when it comes to summer and we just set it a little bit with powder so that's the whole thing basically and I'm just bronzing my face nothing really new here I cannot tan right now so I'm just faking my tan and Jordan seems to be really really nice and natural looking so thank you Colorette and I'm also just adding a bit of nose contour konting konti lang and then if I ever put too much just go back with your brush you know with everything blending is key if you ever put too much 
Just blend it out and it's fine. Parang life, blend it out. Charat. For our liquid highlighter, I'm using BTLA Luminous Highlighter Drop. And it's really, really, really pang potukan. Pag titignan mo, it's so subtle, pero during the summer kasi that's what you want gusto mo yung pag nagtuturn lang yung head mo nakikita mo yung shine so ganun talaga yung uso pag summer kasi you want that natural sun kiss you naturally glow yung mga ganun man. and as you can see I'm just applying it everywhere tops of the cheekbones nose a little bit of the forehead a little bit of the cupid's bow so the normal highlighting areas and another blush to put on top is the color snap in lucky I'm shaking if you can see I'm having like a coffee thing so Please pardon it. Yeah. I'm just patting it on top with a brush, not with my fingers, kasi ayo kung gumalaw lahat since I haven't said anything yet. And this color is just really nice. It's great for my skin tone. But you know, Color Snaps has a lot of different colors to choose from. So just pick from any of it. It's really good. Now to start setting my face, I'm using Vice Cosmetics powders and Putina Mez. It's a duo finish foundation, and so far I like it, but I still haven't checked it enough to see how much I love it, but so far, it's pretty good quality. It's very fine, it's very smooth, and it has coverage. So, so far, so good. I also like the fact that they have a lot of different shades, but I do have to say na majority pa rin is pang mapapute, and yung mga morena shades nila is not really that dark, to be honest. So, yun lang, I just want you guys to know that. For contour naman, I'm using this shade, one of the blushes is for sure. Sorry, I'm going to Um, And I'm putting like a little bit lang just to set the contour shade that we put in the face. A little bit, because I don't want to look too dark. I don't want to look too dark. I don't want to look too dark. So like just a very subtle amount. And then for my brows, I'm using Chris Aquino Life Kit Brow product. I really like this. Medyo bagay siya sa hair color ko kahit blonde ako. And it's dual. So meron ka ng pencil, meron ka pang mascara. So worth it yung bayad mo. And it's pretty natural. Well, depends on sa pagamit nyo, but I personally like it. So I'm mostly just filling in the sparse areas, not making it too on fleek, if that makes sense. Parang ngayon kasi summer, mas uso yung magulong brows. So I'm trying to color my brows at the same time not making it too drawn on. Parang natural bushy looking pa rin yung habol ko. And I know for some people it looks really messy but I like it. For our powder highlighter naman, I'm using another Vice product in Splendid. I'm putting it on top where I did kanina. So parang setting it lang din. Kanina diba kasi pinowder ko center lang of the face. So now I'm just setting the highlights with a powder highlighter. Para mas putok, diba? For eyeshadow naman, I noticed that the BLK liquid eyeshadows are pretty good. This is in Daisy. It's pink. I know na you, you guys were requesting a peachy color. Pero I really want to show you how good this is. Kasi it's matte when you blend it out. It's very easy. But also, it stays on your eyes. Kahit oily lids kayo, kahit pawisin. Nagsistay siya because nga it's liquid eyeshadow. This one naman is optional and honestly I shouldn't have put it kasi medyo hindi nag-last ito sa mata. This is in Rose Quartz and I don't know, I just wanted to include another color tint na shimmer kasi I'm just trying to make it work, okay? Pero so far it doesn't work for the eyes, just so you know. And I'm also putting the highlighter kanina yung ginamit natin sa cheeks on top of the eye lang para to set it again. And then I decided to highlight the center of my face a bit lighter. So I'm just using Chesa in Vibe cosmetics foundation as well for mascara i don't have a local brand but i love this it's the bad girl bang Sobrang ganda talaga nito. The one that is very close to this consistency is the Fashion 21 Double Up Mascara. Yun naman yung favorite ko dati. But look at how much difference it makes. It's pretty damn good. Mawala na talaga lahat. Huwag ng lashes. I personally love a good mascara. It's so pretty. And then this one, Australis X-Proof Waterproof Top Coat Mascara. Ang haba. It makes all of your mascara is waterproof so if you have a favorite and then it's not waterproof don't worry my dear you can just put this on top and it will turn it waterproof it's pretty amazing then and it's not too expensive marry it to some malls but you can buy it online this part naman i was so sad because i couldn't find my blk lipstick in hibiscus 
Hibiscus, hibiscus, whatever. Basta yun. It's my favorite right now and I'm so sad I can't find it. So I'm just removing the foundation off of my lips because I hate it. At dahil summer at papawisa kayo or magsuming kayo, you will be using tints for your lips. This one is from Everbelena. Um, I'm giving it a second chance. No una, I hated it, but now I like it. Bakit ginan? But if you do want something more even, you can use the Chris Life Kit lipstick in life it's very very nice and lakas maka fresh i love this you can even use this as a cheek tint i blend it with my fingers for a more natural look sa lips hindi siya masyadong drawn on tsaka mas fuller yung effect if you spread it with your fingers around parang mas diffused galang diba and for a finishing f -f finishing <laughs> i'm gonna leave that there for a finishing touch i'm just putting a highlighter on my inner ducts para may you know you know dalagang pilipina yeah Dalagang Pilipina. Dalagang Pilipina, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Pakit lang. Oh, yeah. For the last touch, I'm applying La Senza perfume na may glitter para, you know, shining shimmer and splendid kayo pag dumaan kayo. Just patayuin nyo lang. Okay, guys. So, that is it. That is the finished look. Sorry, magulo hair ko. Because that's just me. Hopefully, nagustuhan nyo po yung makeup look na ito. Tell me down below what videos you want to see next on my channel. I will do what you guys want more. Para mas interactive tayo. And also, I'm running out of ideas. So, just tell me what you want. And also, if you want me to review a specific kind of local brand that you guys, that you want. And I'll do it if I can buy it. So, that's pretty much it. Tag me if you ever do this look or this technique. By the way, the key card of the day is right here. Congratulations, you today shout out you want to be the next video shout out just comment down below hashtag kikai of the day and i will pick you for the next one if you want to see more of my videos please don't forget to click the post notification button so that you are notified when i upload videos i usually upload tuesday thursdays so just so you know um that's pretty much it i don't have anything else to say i'm sorry if i don't have a background i just really wanted to do and upload this video right away without having to worry about it I'm sorry. <laughs> so that is it. I don't have anything else to say. And with all that said, I want you guys to never forget that you are beautiful. Bye. God bless. Mwah.